Hey guys, I placed an order with MI Gardener when they had a 50% off sale in early July and I finally got my seeds. It was such a great bargain. One dollar per packet, just couldn't pass it up. So I got these Brussels sprouts because they are dwarf variety and I've never tried them before so that'll be fun. Some purple sprouting broccoli, again a short day broccoli and thought this would be fun to try for the fall. Some carrots that I, I'm trying for the first time and we'll do these also in the fall but these will be direct seeded. Some green scallop squash which I've never tried before but thought it was a fun thing to try. Some arugula because we absolutely love it. And some radishes. My husband loves radishes, so I thought this was a fun one to also try this fall. So this is the reason why I placed my order for some determinate tomatoes. Um, and I ordered a couple of them, this Manitoba variety. And, uh, but I'll start them next year instead. And uh, hopefully they're good. I want red tomatoes. Uh, this is a New Yorker. This is actually an indeterminate tomato, but this one sounded good. And this boxcar willy, which is a determinate tomato. Um, really looking forward to that one next year. And of course, flowers. I had to order some. So they had some white cosmos, which look quite beautiful. And for $1, can't pass that up. Some snapdragons. Um, these looked really pretty. The apple blossom. And then some straw flowers in white, which I've never actually tried the white straw flowers. I've tried every other color except for white. So great for $1. So Grow Friend reached out to me and wanted to know if they could send me something to try out. And I said yes, uh, just what exactly what I was going to need to start my fall seeds. A seed starting kit an indoor grow kit. This is the first time I'm ever trying growing seeds indoor and I'm really looking forward to this. So this kit comes with a 40 cell seed tray as well as the drip tray and each cell is an inch and a half by an inch and a half. So great for starting your seeds. So the kit also includes a heat mat. Now this is very important because many seeds do require the soil to be a certain temperature, either 70 degrees or 80 degrees. So the heat mat will help with your seeds germinating. The kit includes this three in one soil meter, which will measure the moisture level, the pH level and the sunlight. There are some little gardening tools included and there is also some grow lights which will go on the dome and this has a couple different functions on it. You have the choice of different brightness levels from 20% to 100% and then a 3, 6 and 12 hour setting on the lights. This will come in handy when the seeds germinate. They also include some sticky traps for fungus gnats and it comes with this little stake and then you just add the sticky trap to it. I already have some of these and love them. Very happy to have more. Here's another little gardening tool included. And then lots and lots of plant tags, which I also love because I use them all the time. So here is the dome that goes on top of your seed tray so you can keep the moisture in. And then you attach these little circles so that you can open and close those vents as needed. Now there are some little grooves on top of the dome so that you can attach the grow lights onto them. And again, these will come in very handy once your seeds germinate and you have little seedlings so that you can immediately give them some light. So I'm just going to fill the tray with some seed starting mix and I have already pre-moistened my soil. So I've already labeled everything and I'm just going to make little indentations 
uh, in every one of the cells. Every seed that I am sowing only requires a quarter inch depth. So I'm starting with this purple sprouting broccoli. Hopefully I'm not too late to start these, but these take 65 days for maturity. I do plan on using row covers, so hopefully that will help with some of the frost that I might get and still be able to harvest some. So the next is another broccoli. It's the Waltham 29. And this one is 74 days to harvest. So similarly, I hope that uh, I have enough time and maybe with the row cover, I will be able to get a harvest. So next is this pak choy and I definitely have enough time for this. It is 45 days to harvest. So I'm going to start these seeds now and then two weeks later, I will start some more seeds so that I can have a second harvest this fall. So next are these Brussels sprouts, which are a semi-dwarf variety. Now these do take uh, days to maturity, 75 to 115 days. So this is kind of iffy if I'll get them, but uh, I'll give it a shot anyways. And if not, we'll have to try it again another time. Um, but I'm super excited to try these Brussels sprouts and uh, I'd be very happy if I can get some. So next is this black seeded Simpson lettuce and definitely I'll be able to harvest these 21 to 40 days um, for maturity and they are frost tolerant, um, very easy to do and I probably don't even need to start them in the cells but um, I really would prefer to get a little bit more of a mature plant out there. Uh, last spring I had issues with aphids so I'm hoping that these will also be under row covers to protect them from uh, any pests. Next is this Brentwood lettuce and also another frost tolerant variety, 21 to 57 days uh, to maturity. And these are pelleted seeds, which make it super easy to actually plant these. Um, I probably will succession plant these as well. Um, pelleted seeds I believe don't last too long so I do want to use them up either uh, this fall or next spring. And last but not least are these bunching onions and these um, I am starting two rows of these. Uh, they are 60 days to harvest. Um, they are not frost tolerant. Um, so we'll see if I can get some with, again, the row covers. It's possible that I could uh, harvest some uh, this season. But otherwise, I have plenty of seeds and I can try them again in the spring. So now I'm just covering up all the little holes and making sure that the seed is nicely covered and in contact with the soil. So now I'm just placing my seed tray into the drip tray. And then I just added some little tapes on the side just uh, as a little tag, just so I can easily lift the tray out. And now I'm just gonna add a bit of water to make sure that my soil is nice and moist. And I'm placing the dome because we wanna make sure that everything stays moist and there's condensation and nothing dries out. That's very important in order for the seeds to germinate. Now I do need this heat mat in order to make sure that the soil stays nice and warm to help those seeds germinate. I don't need the lights yet. Uh, those will be needed once the seedlings come up and that's when they will need that light. 
So this is the kit from Grow Friend. I'll leave a link down below. Uh, they sell them on Amazon. Um, there are many kits like it, but I really do like everything that comes in this kit. And now we sit and wait to see our seeds germinate. So the dome has been keeping everything really nice and moist. The lights have been working really great. And I already have germination. All of my broccoli seeds have germinated um, as well as the pak choy. And I have some Brussels sprout seedlings and a few lettuce seedlings. And I am super happy with this. I think this kit was great for me starting my seeds. And this is my first time ever trying this. So this is really exciting. So I really, uh, I'm going to be using this to start other seeds uh, in the spring and get a jump start on some of those plants. Um, now, these are great for starting seeds. The dome is only about two and a half, three inches high. So the seedlings can only really stay in here for a certain amount of time. But at a certain point, you, do, you will need to bump them up into a larger pot, which means I do need some grow lights. And I did buy some shelving and grow lights. And I'm going to do the whole thing of, you know, growing some plants indoors, not that many but I'm going to get started on that. So anyway, thanks for joining me and watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.